Hello students, welcome back to another part of our DBMS classes. Now in last few classes we already discussed about ER diagram models and in this class we are going to discuss about extended ER diagram model. Now the basic of ER diagram models are already done in the previous classes and in just last class we also have discussed one example now in this class only three new features are going to be discussed first thing is called generalization what is generalization that is a bottom-up approach I'm giving you one example see we have a class name sort table whatever we say called employee now this entity has features TID that is employee ID next e name employee name next is phone number then city and we are going to connect them And here EID is our key element in this table. Now now I Need a structure like this on the right here is a okay. This is called is a property, and I divided in in two parts. Okay. These two are another two entities, okay? Now same. So, um, okay. P R the permanent employee and temp or temporary employee. Okay. Now these two entities, that is par and temp, will share all the attributes of the parent entity that is the employee entity and it will have one or more attributes like this maybe for permanent employee I'm specifying salary uh, for the temporary employee it is wages okay now <coughs> if you consider this your model then you will make two physical table one is par and another one is tame where par will have one two three four attributes that is city eid e name and phone along with this salary and this tame table we will also have one two three four that is the city eid name and phone attribute along with the wages this is called generalization now if i consider this like a 
bottom up approach then that is a generalization okay because uh, from permanent and temporary you are going up and if you come to employee then you are generalizing it that every permanent uh, employee and temporary employee is basically an employee but specialization is just opposite of generalization where you will consider uh, top down approach where uh, employee is divided into parts so basically generalization and specialization uh, represent same diagram uh, one is just uh, top down approach and another one is just bottom up approach okay now i'm uh, giving one another addition with this say you have this department because many of my students ask me this question sir if i have a table department that has the following attributes the the id and the name and we know that permanent employee and temporary employee both are working in some department then this relationship I mean to say this relationship between employee and department where should I join this now it is very simple that you simply join it with this base entity that is the employee entity okay now it will simply be connected with this employee entity and this employee entity will have this field that is DID right. okay And you can write like this works. Okay, clear. Done. Now, in the next section, we are coming to another concept that is called aggregation. Now, in case of aggregation, it is like you are considering two or more entities as a single entity say I have a situation like this teacher then boss course and the relationship between them is like this teacher teachers course now we have another entity that is student and the student is looking for teacher as well as it is maybe it is also looking for course now what I will do here is that simply Make another box here, then one relationship between them and just join this and this. Okay. It 
students are looking for both they are looking for teacher as well as courses so we are considering this teacher and course as together where they have some relationship teacher teaches courses okay this concept is called aggregation so aggregation is nothing but a process when uh, relationship between two entities like in this case teacher and courses are treated as a single entity okay i think the concept is clear to you in our next classes we are going to cover up these extended year diagram tools uh, for some more examples okay thank you